Hi folks, welcome to my YouTube channel, Learn English Grammar Effectively. I run online IELTS and spoken English classes. Interested people can contact me through email. I am British Council Certified IELTS Trainer. My email address is given in the description box. Along with that, the links for my other videos are also mentioned in the description box. All these videos are very, very helpful to all of you. So kindly watch them out. Do watch, like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon. Today, we are going to start part 2 from the same series, the series of parts of speech. We have already started the series and we have already completed part 1. Today, we are going to see part 2 in which you will see pronoun and its types. There are total 10 types of pronouns but today, we will see only five types and rest of the five types we will see in part three from the same series, the series of parts of speech. Let's begin. First of all, we will see past parts of the board. You can see different parts of the body. For example, eye, nose, mouth, arm, hand and so on. But all of them have different functions. Same way, today we are going to see parts of speech part 2 in which you will see there are total 8 parts of speech. We have already completed noun and its types in part 1 and today we are going to start pronoun and its types. First of all, let's see the definition of parts of speech. Words are divided into different kinds according to their use called Parts of speech. There are eight kinds of words and they are called parts of speech in English. Let's try to learn these parts of speech in a new way with the help of story. Mr. Noun and Mrs. Verb live in a house called Grammar. They have two sons and a daughter. The elder son often works in a place of his father that is Noun when he is away. So people call him Pronoun. The younger son is Adjective. He is a poet. Who loves describing things? It means nouns. Here, nouns. Adverb, their daughter, often accompanies her mother verb. They have a servant called interjection. He makes funny and sad expressions. Mr. Noun has a brother-in-law called preposition. Who loves to show his position? Conjunction is their best friend who helps them to join broken end. So, with these, you will come to know about their different kinds of functions. Let's see them one by one. Today, we are going to start pronouns. Words which are used in place of nouns are called pronouns. They replace the names of people and things. Examples. These are the pronouns. He, she, him, her, it, they, we, us, them and so on. So, I have bifurcated according to singular, plural, first person, second person and third person for your better understanding. So, first person singular, you need to use I, me as pronouns. 
and first person plural we us second person you in singular and plural same you third person singular he him she her it if we are talking about object then you have to use him or her then third person plural they them this is for subject and this is for an object let's see the examples first example ali lives in pune ali is a tailor ali lives in pune he is a tailor see here we have replaced here ali instead of ali we have put he because ali he is boy that is why or you can say man that is why we have written here he so he that is called pronoun second example where are the boys call the boys here see here the boys and the boys twice they are used so how to replace where are the boys first question remain the same then call the boys here so no need to repeat the same now instead of you have to use pronoun call them here suhani is a good girl all like suhan see here in first sentence suhani and suhani so it is repeated so here suhani is a good girl full stop all like her all like whom so suhani so no need to repeat the same so this is noun and this is called pronoun i have written here her because she is a girl that is why her where is the map bring the map here same way the map the map twice it is used now how to replace where is the map bring it here so the map that is thing non living thing that is why we have to use here it bring it here let's compare two sentences first sentence ajay is a good boy ajay learns english the teacher likes ajay very much this is first one now we have to compare this first one with the another one so here ajay is a good boy same okay then in second sentence it is written ajay learns english so no need to repeat the same word same noun so that's why we have to use here pronoun and he is a boy that is why i have used here he instead of ajay he learns english third the teacher likes ajay very much so here the teacher likes no need to use the same ajay so instead of that we have to use him because here ajay that is an object that's why him the teacher likes him very much he i have used here in the beginning because this is subject so when it works as a subject then you need to put he and if we use as an object then we need to put him let's do exercise put appropriate pronouns in the given blanks okay five blanks are given you have to put appropriate pronouns already pictures are given so start doing then we will discuss
Hope you have done. Let's check answers. First, this is my pen. Give it to me. Here it is written. Why? Because we are talking about pen. And that is non-living thing. That is why we need to use it. Thanks Kabi for the book. I will return it to him soon. So here we are talking about the book. And it is also non-living. That's why we have used here it. Third one. They are coming to our school. We must welcome them. So here them is used. Why? Because this is third person plural. Okay. And it is used here as an object. That's why them and not they. Okay, fourth one. I have a book. There are pictures in it. See, the picture. I have a book. So, I, that is also first person. We have already seen in the, uh, our uh, tabular format. Here, it was, uh, that was given that I. I is also pronoun. So, I have a book. There are pictures in it. So, non-living thing. Hmm? Third person singular, that is why it. Mary is a good girl. She goes to school daily. Now see Mary. Hmm? And she is a girl. That is why I have used she. And this is subject. That's why she, not her. Hope you understood this. Let's move to kinds of pronouns. First, personal pronouns. Second, possessive pronouns. Third, relative pronouns. Fourth, demonstrative pronouns. Fifth, distributive pronouns. Sixth, indefinite pronouns. Seven, reflexive pronouns. Eight, interrogative pronouns. Nine, intensive or emphatic pronouns. And last one, that is reciprocal pronouns. Okay, so these are 10 types of pronouns. But today in part 2, we will do only first 5. Okay, and from 6 to 10, you will see in my upcoming video that will be based on pronoun and its types part 3. First, personal pronouns. Let's see the definition. Pronouns that are used instead of names of people or things are called personal pronouns. Okay, personal pronouns I, me, we, us, you, he, she, him, her, it, they. Then, so in this picture you can see I, then you, for girl, she, for boy, he, for non-living thing, it, okay, for group, so you have to use we, so all these we are going to see. Examples, first, Sohan gave me a pencil. So, Sohan gave me. Okay. So, here, so I, me, that is first person singular you have to use. I, you have to use only with this subject. If you want to write subject, then you have to put I. But here, this is an object. That's why you have to put me and not I. 
Second, the teacher likes us. Third one, I told you not to come late. So, subject and object. So, subject that is I. That's why here I is given. And this is an object. That's why not I but me. Fourth one, he is a brave boy. Pronoun, personal pronoun. Tell him not to go there. Object. That's why him. They are good boys. They. Okay. So this is also personal pronoun. Third person plural. Tell them to work hard. Them object. That's why them not they. Let's see exercise. Put appropriate personal pronouns in the following blanks given in the form of a passage. Okay, one passage is given. You have to identify what you have to write here. So, do it now. Let's check answers. See here, according to the sentence, according to their meaning, according to the uh, appropriate given meaning, you have to understand and put appropriate pronouns, personal pronouns. So yesterday, I went to the zoo with my friend. So my is given. So that way you can guess here, I would come. So I went to the zoo with my friend friends. Next, I saw the lion first and it roared. Animal also, for animal also we can use this it. That's why it is mentioned. This is personal pronoun. Then, we saw some monkeys. Okay, so here in the very first line it is clear that I went to the zoo with my friend. So here we will come. That's why we is mentioned. We saw some monkeys. According to the passage, you need to understand. They were funny and loud. So they, they means monkeys, some monkeys. So about them we have we have to use so here we have used they they were funny and loud hope you understood let's move to second type that is possessive pronouns look at this picture his hers its mine Ours, theirs, yours. All these are called possessive pronouns. Pronouns that show possession or ownership are called possessive pronouns. With the tabular format, let's try to understand. First person, second person, third person, singular and Plural. Okay. So, if you are using pronoun instead of first person, so here mine will come in singular form. In plural, if you want to use, then ours. Second person, singular, plural will be the same, yours. And third person, singular, his, hers, its. His for a boy is there. Hers for girl is there. Its for non-living thing. And third person, plural, for all, you need to use theirs. Let's see examples. That book is mine. You cannot use that book is mine. That is wrong. So here you need to use that book is mine. Second, this house is ours. Third, this camera is yours. Without apostrophe you have to use. The books are not theirs. 
This is not your pen. It is hers. You cannot use it is her pen. Her only. But it is hers. What's mine is yours, my friend. The bag is theirs. So, these are the usages. Let's move to exercise. Fill in the blanks with appropriate possessive pronouns. Four blanks are given with brackets. So, from these you have to find out which one is appropriate for the particular blank. Now start doing. Hope you have completed. Let's check answers. This bottle is mine. My name is on it. See, her, theirs, ours and mine. All these four options are given. But here this bottle is mine. Why? Because if it is related to me. It belongs to me. Because my name is on it. That's why mine. Second, the dog was wagging its tail. So here, dog. So non-living thing, that's why it's. We cannot write mine, there's our. But it's. This is my bag. Where is yours? Mine. Then where is yours? So here yours is given. So here you have to use Yours, not him, her, mine. A friend of mine has invited me to the party. So, you cannot put a friend of mine. That would be incorrect. But correct answer is mine, not your and mine. So, a friend of mine has invited me to the party. Third type, relative pronouns. A relative pronoun is a word that introduces a dependent clause and connects it to an independent clause. These are relative pronouns, which, that, who, whom, whose and so on. First, who refers to people, okay, for subject. Whom refers to people, but that is in object form. Whose refers to possession. Which refers to animals and objects, means non-living thing. That refers to people, things animals. Where refers to places. When refers to time. Why refers to reasons. And what refers to things. Let's see examples. First, the boy is riding a bicycle. He is my brother. How to join two sentences together with relative pronoun? That we will see. The boy who is riding a bicycle is my brother. Here, we have to add something in this boy. Okay, extra information. So, the boy, then we need to put who. Okay, as a relative pronoun. It relates the boy who is riding a bicycle is my brother. This is the skirt I like. It has bold prints. The skirt, we want to add something in the skirt. That's why skirt and that is non-living thing. That's why we have to use which, not that. The skirt 
which I like has more friends. Use, remember uh, two things. Use who, who, whose to talk about people. And use that which to talk about animals and things only. Let's see some more examples. He is the man whom I met yesterday. According to the need of the context and sentence, we need to put a relative pronoun. So here he is the man. So what type of man he is? For that you need to put whom to relate. Okay. So he is the man whom I met yesterday. This is the boy who got the prize. She is the girl whom I know very well. So this way you need to change whom, who, whom. This is the dog which killed the rat. Dog and here for animals and birds also along with things we used to. Uh, we use this which. That's why here which is given. You cannot put here that. This is the dog which killed the rat. This is the lady whose purse is stolen. Okay, we are talking about lady whose purse is stolen. So, possession is there. Ownership is there. That's why whose that is mentioned. This is the person with whom I work. Mr. Smith is the person in whom I have a great faith. So here who, whose, whom. Before that you have to add pro, uh, the preposition. Okay. So this way you can frame. Mr. Dave is a person from whom we have learnt English. Call the boy through whom you have sent the gift. The man with whose son I was playing is a doctor. So this is complex one. The man with whose son okay, I was playing is a doctor. The woman for whose daughter I was buying ornaments is a well-known poetess. All these things are very very useful in IELTS because here you are bound by time and word limit. So you have to show whatever knowledge you are having okay, with minimum words. So all these will help you a lot. The young man in whose office I was entering was a political leader. The man by whose letter I was appointed was a respected person. My brother gave me a pen with which I wrote many answers. So here we are talking about pen. Okay, with which means with the help of that. So, with which you have to use here. With which I wrote many answers. This is the book in which I found excellent idioms. So, here book. So, which is used non-living thing and before that in which because it is already idioms are already given in the book. That's why you have to use here in which. This is the institution for which we demand donation. All that glitters is not gold. So here that is proper. I don't understand what you say. So this way you can use relative pronouns. Let's do exercise. Fill in the blanks with appropriate relative pronouns. Three blanks are given with brackets. You have to choose which one is proper for the particular blank. 
So start doing. Let's check answers. Please return the book that I gave you. So who, that, whom, whose. So that is proper. The man who is driving is my uncle. Whose, which, who, whom. So you want to talk about the man. Okay, you want to give some extra information. So the man who is driving? So who that is the proper one. I met a man whose smile was crook. So whose? Not who, which or that but whose. Hope you understood. Let's move to type 4. Demonstrative pronouns. Pronouns that are used to point out specific persons or things are called demonstrative pronouns. This, that, those, these. Okay, let's understand this with the help of picture. Demonstrative pronouns. See. Here, one apple is given and this is given. This, T-H-I-S. So, here, if anything is near to you, close to you and only one. Or you can say it is only in singular form. Then, you have to use T-H-I-S, this. Okay? Come to next picture. Here, that means if anything is far away from you it is not close to you it is not near to you but far away and only in singular form it means only one so here you can see only one apple is there and it is far away from that boy that's why you have to use here t h a t that okay move to third one here these t h e s e that is given and four uh, apples are given. Okay. So here if plural form is given of anything and all these are near to you. Okay. So you need to use T-H-E-S-E -E, these and those. If things are far away from you and if it is in plural form. Plural means more than one. Okay. So here four are given. That's why plural form. And far away from the board. Here it is given. So that's why we have to use here T H O S E those. I hope your concept is clear. Let's see some examples. This is a book, only one, and it is near. That is why this T H I S. Second, these are books. So here not one book but many books are given and all are near. That's why T-H-E-S-E -E, these are books plural form. Third one, that is a balloon. Only one balloon is there and it is far away. That is why that singular form. So, that. You can see here many balloons. Okay. So, those are balloons. Many balloons. More than one. So, that is plural form. And all these balloons are far away. That's why those. Those are balloons. Plural and far away. So, those. Those are ducks. You can see many ducks are there in the pond. Okay. So those are ducks. Those we have to use only for far away things and plural form. So those. 
these are crows crows are near okay closer so that's why these and in plural form that's why t h e s e these these are crows next to exercise fill in the blanks with proper demonstrative pronouns given in the brackets four sentences are given with uh, blanks and brackets so you have to choose appropriate one start doing let's check answers first this is my messenger e your hand so there those which will not come but this will come next those are the mugs i wanted to buy so here that which those and these at given but here r is mentioned okay so according to that we need to put those t h o s e next these are candles so r is given so plural form will come so here t h i s t h i t will not come but t h e s e plural form will come that is a ja these those will not come because both indicates indicate plural forms right but here is is given so it shows singular form and that is that so that's why that is proper answer hope you understood let's move to fifth one distributive pronouns distributive pronouns are used when there are more than one persons or things to indicate that the persons or things are taken separately okay let's see distributive pronouns each every either neither none any everyone and so on first we will see each okay each you can use when number is definite limited for that you can use each each is used to refer to every one of two or more people or things of a group occurring in the sentence for example each one of you will be awarded with bravery award so here each one of you that is used so each it means that it refers to everyone second access cards will be given to each resident of the estate means here each refers to every one of two or more people next that is every so when you want to use uh, this every so you have to see that number is indefinite okay not limited every is used with singular nouns to refer to all the members it covers vast area of a group of things or people collectively for example every applicant for the job was interviewed every means each and every member every applicant i enjoyed every moment of my childhood either either means one or the other of two people or things only singular verb is used in its expression for example either of the two athletes is a footballer so when you use either it means one or the other of two so here always you have to put singular form of the verb second 
I may buy either of these two gifts. So one or the other. So that's why either. Third one, either of you can help me in this matter. So here either. So one or the other of two people. Next, neither. Neither means not the one nor the other of two people or things. Only singular verb is used in its expression. Let's learn with the help of examples first. Neither of them brought their lunch. Neither. It means not the one nor the other of two people. Second, neither of them plays well. See here, singular form, plays. Next, neither of you is selected for the final, is, singular verb. So, always remember, with neither, you have to use singular verb. None. It is used to denote more than two things or persons. Let's see examples. None of my friends describe things to me so beautifully as he does. None of us can live without the others. None of them are good. None of it was real. None of our friends went to the party. Next, any. Okay, any means refer to one or number of things. For examples, any of you can join the program as a leader of the team. So, any of you. Okay, one. I don't buy any of these two shirts. She didn't have any money. He doesn't have any idea. They did it without any difficulty. Do you have any pets? So this way you can use any. Next, everyone. Everyone one means Every person, everybody, each and everyone. For example, everyone is healthy according to the doctor. It means each and everyone or every person or you can say everybody is healthy according to the doctor. Next, everyone was supporting. Everyone laughs. So here one thing you have to mark that when you use everyone, singular verb form will come. Everyone is, everyone was, everyone laughs. Everyone has feelings. Everyone was tired. Let's see exercise. Fill in the blanks with proper distributive Pronouns given in the brackets. Okay. Four blanks are given with brackets. You have to choose appropriate one. Start by. Let's check answers. First, either of her parents will come to pick her up. So here everyone means includes each and everyone. Either and someone. So here either is appropriate. That's why either is written. Next, each one of you should donate to this charity. So here each, someone, all, neither will not come but each. Each will come. That is correct answer. Next, none of the students could solve the problem. So here none, not any or everyone but None. According to the context, according to the meaning, according to the sentence, you have to understand and then you have to put appropriate them, uh, distributive pronouns.
hope you understood well here we have completed our part 2 and first five types and 6 to 10 types of pronoun we will see in part 3 from the same series the series of parts of speech so don't miss any part all these parts are very very helpful to all of you so do watch like share subscribe and press the bell icon bye for now